Hey, it's Novel J. Lee, and welcome to a new Buzzcast here on Buzzworthy Radio. Thomas Sadowski stars as Don Kiefer on HBO's hit series, The Newsroom. We got to talk to him about the recent arc that was portrayed this season where the ACN team needs to build back its trust with the audience after a story was leaked that wasn't exactly true. We got to talk a little bit about that as well as what we hope to see in the new season of what stories they're going to wind up combating against. Here it is, our interview with Thomas Sadowski. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Doing very well. Thank you so much for speaking with me, sir. It's always a pleasure. No problem, man. Thanks for having me back. Absolutely. So congratulations on the fact that the newsroom was picked up for a third season on HBO. Thank you very much. And it's nice that Don Kiefer will be inserting himself back into our lives yet again. I'm just saying. (laughs) It makes me happy too. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, uh, this season yeah. though, this season though has been a, a complete and utter whirlwind for everybody involved at ACN uh, with the characters and what what's going on. And I, I have absolutely no idea what Election Night Part Two is going to take us. But it's uh, it, it's been it's been crazy. It's been crazy for everybody in the newsroom. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a tough year for those guys, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, we didn't do so good this year. Uh, we we sort of dropped the ball in a pretty major way, um, which I think is really interesting. I mean, I'm I was really uh, I think it was, it was really um, incredibly creative and an incredibly brave choice for Aaron, incredibly intelligent choice for Aaron to you know set up this group of people in the first season to you know on, the, on this sort of like Don Quixotean quest where we're going to do the news and you know we're going to do it with integrity and you know. Uh, consequences be damned and here we go charging into it and you know we're going to say what we want to say and yeah there'll be consequences along the way but we'll deal with it and then the second season it's like i've been comparing it to the moment when don quixote hits the windmill and falls off of his horse you know okay every and everybody and and they they sort of they look like fools you know and um it's uh it's it's cool i I've, i've i've been really happy with it i know we all have you had some pretty good contenders on on this season, of course, with the return of Jane uh, Fonda. But also, we had Marsha Gay Harden coming in on the scene as Rebecca uh, this season. What was it like to work opposite of her? Because it looked like a lot of fun. <laughs> we had a blast. Yeah, we had a blast. Um, we had so much fun that Aaron, you know, sort of in that that episode. I guess it was in episode seven in Red Team Three or whatever it was. Uh, you know, we had so much fun during that deposition scene that Aaron threw us together in a couple of scenes last week and in uh and in the season finale um i love her i love marcia she's incredible um she's so intelligent and such a such an incredible talent uh you know it was it was a real joy to get to work with her and to learn from her uh over the course of a few weeks that i, I got to work with her this season it was kind of funny watching when i was watching the the season premiere and everything went down between Maggie and Don when he left. I, I kind of expected Don to fly a little bit more off the handle, but he handled that very calmly and coolly, which I did not expect from him uh, <laughs> at all. I, so I was kind of I was kind of taken aback by that of, of how he handled that situation with her and the the YouTube video and everything of this sort of her feelings and all that. It was it was very. Not it was not normal <laughs> for Don, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, you know, he, he he sort of consistently surprises us, doesn't he, as a character? Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that you know, with with the people that he cares about, he is very gentle and respectful, and I think that you saw that a lot this season. You know, with his dealings with Mackenzie, and I think that you saw it with his the way that he handled the whole. Uh, Maggie breakup situation, and and also the the sort of gentleness and the respectfulness that he's been dealing with Sloane and this flirtation between the two of them, and you know that with the people he cares about, the people that he's he's close to and that he respects, he he can be very sort of solid and mature, and that you know when the stupidity and silliness of the world outside 
and the people that he doesn't necessarily care about that he just has to deal with kind of comes up and bites him, he freaks out. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. He's just sort of consistently frustrated by the the silliness and stupidity of the world (laughs) around him. But I think that he's, he's sort of a solid guy, you know? What can you say? I mean, you know, the Troy Davis uh, episode that y- you had, wow. First of all, I love the performance in that that you gave, by the way. Um, oh, can I ask, please, can I ask, ladies and gentlemen, I want the newsroom, since they did that, I would love to see Don Kiefer tackle the George Zimmerman case and Trayvon Martin, because how he handled that, he would be perfect for that. I am throwing it out there. I'm throwing it out there. <laughs> um, Was I right I to have, do that? <laughs> you know, I, I, have, I have no control over that. I wish that I did. You know, if you want to pitch that to Aaron, I say absolutely <laughs> go for it, write about it. You know what I mean? Um, but, you know, there's there's a number of things that we sort of have to look forward to in season three, you know, with some degree of question and, and some degree of um, care. Uh, and, you know, we have, not only do we have the the way that the, the Trayvon Martin case and the Zimmerman case is going to play out and the response to it and everything, but we also have um, the Sandy Hook Elementary school shootings, you know, that, that come up right after the election. Oh, and, absolutely. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of stuff coming up in our potential third season that, uh, you know, I, I know that we we discussed even while we were on set as they, you know, as these things sort of happened, we and we realized there was a possibility that our time this season, our time jumps this season might catch up to, you know, right about then. We, we started talking about it a little bit, and I think Aaron was very clear that, he wanted to end the season before Sandy Hook uh, because he wanted to be very careful, um, you know, in, re- in regards to, to that story. And he, you know, he didn't want to exploit it at all. And he needed a lot of time to think about it, whether or not it was worth, you know, what he wanted to say about it and if what he wanted to say about it was worth saying and, and all right. of that stuff. And I think that also the, the Trayvon Martin case and the, the Zimmerman trial fall into that too, because they're such, heightened issues um, of such consequence mm-hmm. um, and import and meaning in our society that uh, the last thing in the world you want to do is be seen to be exploiting something for the case of making a TV show. Now, you know, with Mr. Davis's case, um, I think that we were able to have a very worthwhile discussion of, uh, you know, the the struggles that uh, a news gathering organization goes through when, when dealing with um, a situation like that, where you want to advocate for somebody, but it's, it's not, you're, you're sort of bound by these rules um, and these ethics, uh, you know, that where you can't really reach out, you have the information and you have the access to the information, but the ethics of your profession sort of, prohibit you from acting out in a way that you want to that could actually potentially change something um, right. is a very interesting discussion to have. And, uh, and you know, it was also, I think, interesting and important to discuss Mr. Davis's case because, frankly, it did not get a whole lot of coverage. It just it didn't. Like, I by agree. the time I agree. all yeah. was said and done, considering what had happened and the absolute farce that, that uh, you know, a, a complete uh, farcical treatment of justice down there in that case, the, the lack of coverage on it um, as compared to, say, the overwhelming amount of coverage that was put on, you know, Kim and Kanye's baby or what the fuck ever, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, the, the, there, there was, um, it was worth bringing it up again and saying, listen, this stuff still happens. This has happened again. We're, it's, here it is, 2012, I guess at this point in the story, in, the story. Uh, in, our, in our TV show, and this is still happening to members of our society, to people of a certain race, creed, you know, uh, they're, they're still being railroaded. There is not really justice. There's not equal justice for all. Look at what's happening. I think it was, it was you know, worth bringing that up again and saying, 
you know, we have a character who, who is struggling. It, it helps us tell our story in terms of what journalism is and all the, the battles we have to go through. But it's also worth bringing up again and saying, these are the stories we could be reporting on, but we're not. Right. And, um, you know, I, I'll be very curious to see, because there was so much coverage of the Zimmerman trial and there was so much coverage of Sandy Hook, I'll be very curious to see, you know, if we'll, we'll touch them at all. But... Um, I know that if we are going to, it's going to be with a great deal of consideration and thought beforehand. Of course, the main question is right now with the, with the ACN newsroom is how are they going to get the trust back with the viewers after the whole Genoa incident that happened on, in the newsroom? So it's just kind of like, oh, gosh, what are we going to, what are we going to do to, you know, to fix things, <laughs> to fix things? Yeah, well, there's not going to be anything that we can do immediately, you know. I mean, it's it's going to have to be a trust that's earned, which is why I'm glad that we got a third season out of it, and that'll be something that this group of people will, that'll be, you know, uh, something that'll be standing in their way. That'll be something that they, and, you know, that they an obstruction. That'll be something that they have to fight through uh, next year um, in our story, and, and uh, it's not something that's going to be handled in two episodes at the end of the season, that's for sure. Oh, absolutely not. But I'm looking forward to it anyway, to see how that too, plays yeah. out. And, and of course, yeah, you know, I, I'm kind of I'm kind of on the verge of a, a little of a Sloan uh, Sloan Don Kiefer action going on. So maybe maybe that's just me. But I kind of I I enjoyed the flirtation that the two of them had. You and Olivia Munn played off of each other very very well. So it, it, it'll be it'll be very interesting to see that as well too in the newsroom, not just with fixing things in it, but also the the flirtation between the two. So yeah, I'm you know I'm I'm excited for people to sort of see how this, this season wraps up in many regards. I think that there's a lot of um, there's a lot of things that are that will come to a conclusion uh, this season that. I think Aaron very brilliantly sort of left himself a very strong leaping off point for next year. You know, he, he closes a lot of loopholes so he doesn't have to drag a whole lot of stuff from the first two seasons forward with him into season three. And, mm -hmm. and he creates some other situations that are going to be very fertile for him to write in. Um, and I'm excited to see and hear people's reactions to it all. I can't wait. It, the season finale is this coming Sunday or the following Sunday? Is this Sunday? It is this coming Sunday, yeah. This coming Sunday, HBO is in the newsroom. Make sure you guys check it out. Season finale, election night part two. I'm looking forward to it. And, sir, I am so excited that you guys got a season three for the show. Best of luck to you, Thanks, as man. always. Thank you Ta so much, man. Thank you for having me. Always a fun one here on the podcast. Many thanks to Thomas Sadowski for stopping by for the brief chat today. The season finale of HBO's The Newsroom takes place this Sunday, September 15th on HBO. But that's it for me for right now. Navel J. Lee making sure you keep getting the latest buzz with Buzzworthy Radio by simply logging on to our website at www.buzzworthyradio.net. You can also follow us on Twitter at Buzzworthy Radio and liking us on our Facebook page. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. Can't get enough of Buzzworthy Radio. Log on now to www.buzzworthyradio.net to get the latest news on upcoming guests, past shows, and videos of all your favorite stars. Keep getting the latest buzz with Buzzworthy.